Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma, and also welcome to our very first day of our 35th edition Sneaky Peaks. I'm super excited. This release is awesome. I can't wait to show it to you. It's basically, this release is all about um, going with, like coordinating with stuff we have already. This is stuff that was missing, stuff that's been requested um, for a very long time since I came out with the original product. People were asking me for these particular items to go with it. So I'm super excited I finally got to them. So the we are showcasing one new item today. They are a set of um, there are, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, a set of six sentiments, and it is called Verti uh, Fun Vertical Greetings, okay? So I've been asked to make these, especially for my embossed gift card holder dies, but my team and myself are showing you um, other ways you could use it beside the gift card holder. So I'm going to show you the first item I made here. Isn't this super cute? This is what it is one of the, um, what do you call it? One of the sentiments, thank you. So I just went ahead and I thought it was perfect for my tag. I just basically used everything I have out existing. I used some white embossing powder and I heat embossed the background. Um, so what I did first was I actually stamped the sentiment on first and then I got some post-it tape and covered it because I wasn't sure how I was gonna do it. So I post, uh, put some post-it tape right there to cover up the sentiment and then I use my uh, grainy wood background stamp and then I heat embossed it using some white um, white powder I'm not sure if you could even hopefully you can see it in the camera then I use my um, oops there's an extra little my little blingy fell off hold on <laughs> let me put that on oopsie hold on one sec I gotta my poor Tag needs a band aid. Hold <laughs> on. Put that back on there, like so. There we go. Okay. Um, anyways, what I did was I used my stitch she stitched <laughs> Chevy dies, which I have out already, and then this cute little dragonfly. I always forget to use my cute dragonfly. This is from the Pretty Butterflies and Dragonfly dies. So what I did was I just cut it out twice with some vellum. Um, and oh my god, I'm running so low on my vellum. I need to make an order for it. Um, and then I just um, just glued them on both. And then I just used some clear wink of Stella. And that's about it. It was super simple. It came, to back, came together super fast. Okay, so that's one of the sentiments. And here goes another one of the sentiments. Now this is using my actual gift card holder die. This is what this is basically the die that this has been requested for because I have a whole bunch of card sentiments. I have one that's called card sentiments and the other one's called more card sentiments where the sentiments, you could use this gift card just like this, a decorating sentiment goes you know, obviously this way. But people wanted to decorate this on, you know, using, like saying, for example, if they had like a long die to put on there, they didn't want to put it backwards or say like Merry Christmas, um, Merry Christmas this way, then the tree is that way, you know what I'm saying? Which I totally understood what they were coming from. So that's basically what I did here. So there's only so much, so many sentiments I could do because I can't do ginormous long ones either. So I like this one, I had to kind of break it down, Happy B Day. Um, and this one I use my adorable bike die from um, way to go stamp my way to go set and my little present was actually made out of the little doorway from my loyal friends from the little doggy house um, then I use my balloons from my stitch party dies and that's about it and I just let me just show you how this just for, for those of you who are new to my blog this is basically what my gift card holder die looks like you just there's two little slits there and you just slip the gift card holder in like so. And then you could go ahead and just close it up like that. Super simple. Adorable. I love the way this came out. Um, and then what I did was I just used, oh, I also used my, I think they're called the Geo Borders. 
and I just use some clear embossing powder. The Geo Border Stamp Set is what I use. And I clear emboss that, um, heat emboss that, and then I use my little polka dot stamp from the Build a Banner set. Also heat emboss that. And then for my bike, I'm not sure if you can see how shiny it is. I could have went a little bit more layers, but I just did one layer. Um, I just put Versamark ink all over it and then just put clear um, embossing powder as well and heat emboss that too. And then just added some pretty uh, pink posh little four centimeters, I believe, the little tiny guys sequence. I love those. Okay, so that's my second item. And here goes my last item I made. I wanted to go ahead and just do like a little a holiday one. So here goes one of the sentiments, another one of the sentiments, happy holidays. And I, I'm not sure if you can see or not, but I did use my um, grainy wood background again. I went ahead and I heat embossed that using some white embossing powder from Hero Arts. And then I just went ahead and I just popped up one of the, these are my existing, everything else, like I said, is everything else is my existing product, okay? The only thing I'm showing you today are the vertical, the fun vertical greetings, okay? My winter flake dies are, I already have already. So what I did was I went ahead and I just cut those out with some silver paper and just put it on here. Super duper simple that you can mass produce for Christmas right away or little secret Santas. Um, if you're giving these to teachers, your coworkers, everything. I mean, this was really simple to throw together. And that is about it, everybody. I have my two gift card holders. And let me go ahead and zoom out so we could fit everything in here. And then my adorable tag die here, okay? So that is it for my projects for today, everybody. Uh, like always, I will be giving away this stamp set called Fun Vertical Greetings that we all showcased today. Um, I will be, be giving this away to one lucky commenter. So all you have to do is just uh, leave your comments on our blogs for a chance to win this. And I will um, announce the winner on my um, on my blog tomorrow. Okay. Um, I think that's it. I don't think I'm missing anything. So everything um, that we will be showcasing um, Monday through Thursday will be released and available for sale on this Friday the 29th. Um, so at Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, that is when you will be able to utilize the coupon code um, to get the 20% off your, your entire purchase. So you cannot do that prior to that. It will start Friday um, at eight this Friday, August 29th at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I just wanted to throw that out to you because I have a lot of new viewers and they were um, confused on the banner. They just, I, so I just wanted to make sure you do understand it does happen this Friday when everything will be available. Okay, everybody, that is it. I won't keep you any longer. Don't forget to visit my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing design team has done with this fun new stamp set. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you back here tomorrow for some more fun sneaky peeks. Bye-bye.